But, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I, I should do, like, a little review. Let's do, like, a little... We'll run through the countryside. Um, and I will do my review as we run. I like the game. Um, especially at the time, this game was amazing. Um, it was a real technical marvel. For the longest time, this game was the largest game world ever created. Um, unfortunately, the game world, what we see right now, is totally barren and lifeless. Um, there is literally no reason for you to uh, spend any time on the quote-unquote open world in this game. Because as you can see, there's nothing here. There's nothing to do here. And you can fast travel anytime you want. So, if I want to go to Daggerfall, you know, just type in Daggerfall, bam, you know, I'm right there, and I don't know what it is, maybe it's a glitch, but for whatever reason, my trip cost is always zero, and I don't know why, and you might say, well, it's because you have a ship now. It was like this even before I got the ship, so I don't know. So there, there is literally no reason for why you shouldn't ever fast travel. There's no advantage to it. So what they could have done was, you know, I'll just give you an example. They could have had a bunch of points, a bunch of cities, and then some surrounding area, but left out all of the intervening area. You know, this land in between these um, cities and dungeons and things like that, totally superfluous. You don't need it. Um, it could have been... Are you part of the Night Order? They give you free ships if you rank up enough? Uh, I'm part of the Fighters Guild. I don't know the Night Order. Um, but it, it might be something like that. I'm not sure. I, I ranked up pretty high in the Mages Guild. Um, but, you know, they could have done something like Mass Effect, where... You know, in Mass Effect, you can travel to planet to planet, but you don't have to spend time traveling through space, you know, in the, inter in, in the intervening uh, space between each planet, because it's totally unnecessary, it's boring. If they were to have, like, a spaceship simulator of just your spaceship traveling through space, doing absolutely nothing, the game would be awful. Um, now, in this game, you know, you could if you wanted to walk between cities, but, again, there's no point because there's literally nothing there. So, in that sense, it's different than from the other Elder Scrolls games where they have a real open world and you can do things in them. And there's quests that, that take place on the open world, there's places to explore. In this game, there's nothing to see in the open world. Um, I'm gonna just kinda like talk, talk about all my criticisms first and then I'll get to the stuff I like about the game. Um, the dungeons all look the same. Uh, part of it is due to the, the random nature of it. It's the, the dungeons are procedurally generated. Um, and because of that, they all have a very generic look. And they are way, way too big, and they are way, way too labyrinthian. It's so easy to get lost in a dungeon. Um, a lot of times, I would give up on a side quest because I just can't find the one werewolf that I have to kill in this enormous dungeon that's filled with other monsters. And, uh, you know, that's too bad because you do want to rank up in, your different, in the different guilds that you join because there are advantages. It incentivizes you to do well and to rank up in, in, the, in these guilds. You know, you could craft magical items and things like that. Unfortunately, I never got that far in the Mage's Guild to actually craft magic items myself. Oh well, I was able to beat the game anyway. Um, so... Yeah, you know, it, it, I kind of don't blame it, in a sense, though, because this game is really old. So, you know, that was kind of, like, par for the course when we were talking about the time that this game came out in, what was it, 1996? Um, so, in that sense, I understand it. Um, now for some of the things I like about the game. 
Uh, even for an old game, the game looks great, I think. It looks fantastic. The graphics are so nice. It's not a, like a 100% 3D world, but I don't think it would really benefit from a 100% 3D world, because like all the objects are two-dimensional, but they still look pretty good. Um, I am using a graphical filter uh, that comes with DOSBox, and I also have a mod that increases the draw distance, so that's why the detail um, setting is off the chart. Uh, so the draw distance has been improved, so it looks slightly better than how it did when it first came out, but not substantially different, not substantially better. Um, uh, one thing I do like is I like the combat, actually. Um, even though some people criticize it, I'll tell you this much. I mean, the combat is no Dark Souls. Okay, let's get that straight. But the combat in this game is much better than Morrowind's. Now, you could say, like, like I'm swinging this around, and, like, he doesn't swing the sword this fast at the start, but when you level up and get all your stats high enough, I don't know what determines your swing speed. Maybe speed, or maybe it's agility, I don't know. But once it gets really high, then you really start dominating in the game, and it's actually pretty fun. And the way, like, you swing your sword is you have to hold down the right mouse button and then kind of drag it in a direction, but you get used to that. It's not too bad. Um, but, like, I and also the magic system is better in this game. I don't know, I never used magic in Morrowind. Um, so, for whatever reason, I use magic in this game. I also used uh, bows in this game, which are also really fun to use. So, um, I was just doing more in this game than I was in Morrowind. Maybe if I did bows, maybe if I did magic in Morrowind, I would have had more fun with the combat in that game. Um, but, you know, for, I didn't. So, I was having more fun with the combat in this game, and that's what, uh, that's what allowed, uh, me, the, the dungeons, the randomized dungeons, to be a little bit more passable and a little bit more fun. Uh, because it actually was kind of fun to hack and slash and kill enemies. At first, it's hard to kill them, but like once you get leveled up enough and you have really good gear, and I have pretty good gear, it's all Daedric stuff, you know, it, you start dominating, and that's pretty fun. The magic system is kind of broken, though. Honestly, like, unless you have a spell that absorbs shit, I can use this infinitely. So it's, it's like a difference between either you absorb it, um, or you don't absorb it. And if you don't absorb it, you, you lose... You lose, um, too much magic points. So any other spell other than something that you can absorb is totally useless. Um, and I never used any of the other ones. I never used Wizard Fire. I never used, um, Force Bolt or Lightning. Because I can't absorb those things. I have no idea what Dark Souls are, probably too old or something. No, it's, it's a relatively recent game. I'm surprised you never heard of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. The magic system could be better, but given the character I created that can absorb spells, I don't know why I wasn't absorbing it this time. Whatever, it's not important. Um, uh, given the, the character class I created, you know, I was able to use magic uh, whenever I wanted to. Uh, let's see, what else do I like? I like the towns. I gotta say, I like the towns. Um, there's so much to do, even though it does get repetitive after a little while and eventually there's really nothing to do, but you can still go to guilds and try out new quests. And, like, speaking to people, they're all two-dimensional wooden cutout, cutouts, you know, they don't have a lot of interesting things to say, but there is a lot of stuff to do. Um, and, uh, you know, I can definitely see someone playing through this game and never even bothering with the main story. Um, which, uh, isn't really all that interesting anyway. Oh, that's another criticism I forgot, uh, um, to mention. The story in this game is terrible. And the way it's told to you is terrible. You know, it's just like Morrowind in that sense. You know, but at the time I can give this game a little bit more of a pass because, uh, you know, it's an older game, but... The way the story is told to you is awful. I'm sure if you delve into the story and the lore, there's a lot of rich history there that they put a lot of time and effort into creating. But as far as I'm concerned, the way it's conveyed to the player is boring and, and just pointless. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm willing to give it a bit of a pass for that because it is an older game. And I think that's about it.
that's all I really have to say about it. You know, the questing is fun. Uh, you know, just exploring towns is fun. Exploring the, the open world is not fun. There's nothing to do here. There's actually a mod that really makes the open world look even nicer. And it's, it's actually kind of like bittersweet. Um, because it makes the, the open world so much more compelling and interesting with rolling hills and even lakes and stuff like that. But since the open world is pointless to explore, there's no reason to ever go into it and do anything. You don't even you don't even encounter enemies here. You know, I've been like wandering around and there's nothing. It's barren, unfortunately. So that's it. That's Daggerfall. Um, I had this game ever since I was a little kid. Um, I remember getting the demo on a PC Gamer demo disc and. I played it. I didn't do the main story because you really couldn't, but just messing around in the town was fun, and I always wanted to beat it. And so many years later, over a decade later, um, maybe two decades, I don't know, I finally beat it for the first time, and I'm really happy about that. So, 